Is it me or does it feel like more than ever things are just really expensive due to rising costs and inflation and all this can have a negative effect on your painting career and adventures and I don't want that for you. So right here, right now, I'm gonna make a video on the best budget-friendly options to practice painting. In fact, you know what? Budget-friendly isn't even a good enough word. We're gonna go with the most inexpensive and cheap options here. All the products we're gonna talk about, I link down below. You click through those links, it really helps my channel, so thank you very much. But we're starting strong with number one, which is right here in my lap, and it is a large mixing palette. My mixing palette costs between $40 and $45, and then I customized it for around $10 to $15 with a neutral gray spray paint, and then I clear coated the back with a white coat, then clear coat on top of that to protect it. So for right around $60, you get an unlimited surface to practice on. I love this for practicing things I struggle with. Clouds, trees, mountains, rocks, laying of land. You get unlimited practice for learning basic shapes and design. And when you're all done, or if you need more space, just scrape it off, move that paint to a corner of the palette, wipe it clean and repractice what you want. You can do it over and over with the same colors that you want, even if they get muddy, because you're just working on the basic structure and shape. For about 60-ish dollars, this right here is a great little hack. And I know what you're thinking, $60 isn't a cheap suggestion, Ryan. You have to remember, this is a multitasker that you're gonna use for a long time in your painting career, so trust me, it's gonna pay for itself. All right, I know what you're thinking, you said, Ryan, dirt cheap, so here we go, here's the dirt cheap option. You know what comes to your house that's free? Amazon delivery cardboard boxes. These are fantastic. All you need to do is take a sleeve of cardboard and cut it off and gesso the front and tape it to something like your easel. Now you got a perfect practicing surface that you can practice an entire painting on, or again, elements. The only cost you're gonna incur, other than buying something off Amazon, is to gesso the front and tape it. Gesso costs about $10 per bottle, and the tape's gonna cost you probably about five bucks, probably even cheaper than that. So about $15, you're gonna get a good amount of practice on cardboard, which is perfect. Next, we have canvas pads or canvas paper, generally sold in packets like this for 10 sheets to 12 sheets, depending on the manufacturer, and rolls right in around 12 USD to 15 USD, which means you get a practice painting surface for right around a dollar to a dollar 50. Perfect for a lot of you out there. The reason I like canvas pads or canvas paper is it's easily transportable. You can travel with this booklet. It's already pre gesso, so you don't have to waste money on a bottle of gesso. And the fact that canvas pads and paper is basically just canvas itself. It mimics canvas, so that way you can practice on a real surface. You generally get like a medium fine grain toothing here. So some of you may struggle with paint breaks, but overall highly suggest this. Building on canvas pads and paper really quick, if you've got money up front to spend, you can just get this right here. A canvas roll, which is just feet and feet of canvas. Now this will cost a lot up front. Generally for a roll, it's anywhere from 50 past $100, depending on the size and length that you want. But every time you cut off a sliver and use it for practice, it's only gonna cost you like 25 cents to a dollar for that practice material. This is a great hack, but it's gonna cost you a lot of money up front, but I use it all the time. Next, we have something you've been seeing in a lot of my tutorials, and that is canvas boards. Can't believe I caught that without really looking. Canvas boards are generally sold in packs of 12, and the prices range, depending on the size, from $20 to $25. The reason I like canvas boards is they're very rigid, so you can paint on them flat or mock it up to any surface provided you use painter's tape to mock it up. Factor in the cost of the painter's tape, obviously. Another reason I like them is they're nice and thin, so they're easy to store in your studio and they won't take up much space, and they're also really easy to travel with. A plus and minus is they already come pre-gessoed, but sometimes, depending on the manufacturer, the gesso can be kind of weak depending on your painting style. So you may require a bottle of gesso. The ones I have right here that I'll link down below work extremely well. I sometimes apply an extra layer of gesso depending on my painting style, but I highly recommend these. But wow, and I wanna practice on a real canvas and be like a big boy and big girl artist out there. What do you have for me? There's always one. All right, noob, this one's for you. I highly recommend the five pack 
from Artist Loft. Comes in 16 by 20, you get five canvases, generally sold right around $19.99, but I don't recommend it there. It's always on sale for $12.99. That is the best time to snag it. But if you want even cheaper, sometimes Michael's, which is where this is sold at, will send you an additional coupon that can be applied to sell items, bringing this down to a grand total of 10 bucks, which means $2 per canvas. Perfect for all of you painters out there that want to practice on a real canvas. Not good enough for you? Okay, well, we can do this. Here you go. This is the Artist Loft 11 by 14 7 pack. It's the same exact thing as a 16 by 20, obviously smaller, but you get two more canvases. It's gessoed the same way, it stretched the same way, it's the same material. It's even the same retail price, $19.99. Same sale price, $12.99, and you can still apply the same coupon code, which means you get it for under $10. $10 for seven canvases, can't do math on the fly, but I'm sure it's probably under $1.50. We'll put the real number right here. When you're creating content, math on the fly is tough. Sometimes, yeah, I'm all looks. But if you wanna paint on real canvas for cheap, this is one of the best options. Now, if you don't have Michaels in your area because you're in a different country or region from me, I will try my best in the links down below to find a great alternative for you, okay? I'm curious to know, what is your cheap painting surface hack that you use? Maybe it's MDF, it's wood, it's glass, it's plastic. Let us know in the comments down below and share with our community. And hey, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this video helpful or join our YouTube members, which helps me out a lot. Now that you know these cheap painting surfaces to paint on, really tough sentence, can't believe I got it out of my mouth, you need an easy tutorial or video that's gonna help you build your skills, which is why I recommend the two videos over to my side. One's gonna show you a tutorial on a canvas board, and one's gonna show you a tutorial on a normal canvas. I'll see you in those videos, and as always, take care, and of course, strong finish, bye. Yes, nailed it.